It's been intense, it's fast-paced, and above all, it's bare-knuckled. Drama from the billionaire space race between SpaceX and Blue Origin keeps unfolding like an old romance movie. And between the two companies, we've got one drop-dead gorgeous girl, NASA's Moon Contract. Today we bring you an all-inclusive coverage of the fascinating rivalry between SpaceX and Blue Origin. So why is the rift between the two companies intensifying? And if they are billionaires, why does the NASA contract matter? Stay with me as we uncover the history of this competition and its implications for the future. Now, a little background. For decades, Jeff Bezos has had a dream to have people living in a self-sustaining post-world space habitat. So the self-described space geek and sci-fi reader founded Blue Origin in 2000 to fulfill his ambitions. And he has promised to use his rocket company to make robotic rovers and human habitats on the lunar surface and beyond. In one interview, Bezos is quoted saying, This is not something that we may choose to do. This is something we must do. Now, it seems Bezos wasn't the only one dreaming of having us in space. Another space geek, Elon Musk, had a dream. He had a dream that one day millions of people will call the Red Planet home. And in 2002, he founded SpaceX, a company that has been on the fast track to having human Mars inhabitants in our lifetime. When the company launched its Crew-2 mission to space, Elon said that, we don't want to be one of those single planet species, we want to be a multi-planet species. NASA's Moon Contract In 2017, Trump's administration launched Project Artemis. It is a mission whose primary goal is to have the first woman and the next man on the moon for the first time in about 50 years. Earlier this year, NASA awarded the $2.9 billion lunar landing project to SpaceX. Elon's company was tasked to build the long-awaited Artemis lunar lander. It is a project that involved three companies, SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Dynetics. And the winner had to have the most creative landing system to be used to ferry astronauts to the moon and back. The problem is, NASA's decision to give the contract to SpaceX seems to have rubbed Blue Origin the wrong way. So, in characteristic Bezos fashion, he filed a motion against the award in April. But this August, the U.S. Government Accountability Office, also known as GAO, said that NASA's decision was correct. To support their ruling, GAO said that NASA expressly put all offers on notice that the number of awards was subject to available funding, and the agency could make multiple contract awards, a single award, or no award at all. Soon after GAO's announcement, a spokesperson from Blue Origin replied that, We stand by our assessment that SpaceX received preferential treatment. Blue Origin hasn't stopped there. They've been busy demonstrating that NASA is wrong and their plans are dangerous. They even published an infographic on their website, taking a dig at Musk's Starship, saying that it is immensely complex and high risk. It seems Blue Origin won't be giving up on the human landing system contract. In fact, Bezos has further offered to give $2 billion to facilitate NASA's project if the decision is reversed. Elon Musk, on the other hand, has had a field day mocking Jeff Bezos. In one tweet, he called Jeff Bezos the irony man. In another tweet, Musk posted a photo of Blue Origin's Blue Moon with a caption saying, Somehow, this wasn't convincing. In all this, you are probably asking yourself, isn't $2.9 billion pocket change for the two beefing billionaires? After all, Bezos' net worth is about $190 billion, and Musk follows closely with his cool $187 billion. Why is Blue Origin so keen on having a contract with NASA or other governmental departments? A little trip down memory lane will show you why. SpaceX's Contract History 
SpaceX is no stranger to space race controversy. For example, 17 years ago, a company called Kistler Aerospace was awarded a $227 million contract by NASA to develop its K-1 rocket and deliver supplies to the International Space Station. The award was given because no other company had a rocket and Kistler said that its rocket was nearly complete. And do you know who was enraged by this? You guessed right, Elon Musk. He had just started SpaceX two years earlier, and its first rocket, Falcon 1, was two years away from completion. However, Musk believed NASA's decision was due to favoritism, and SpaceX should have been given a chance to compete. Elon recalls that, I was told by many people that we should not protest. You've got a 90% chance that you're going to lose. You're going to make a potential customer angry. I'm like, it seems like right is on our side here. It seems like this should go out for competition. And if we don't fight this, then I think we're doomed, or our chances of success are dramatically lowered. NASA, one of the biggest customers of Space Launch, would be cut off from us. I had to protest. He challenged the decision, and eventually, SpaceX won. NASA quickly realized that GAO would rule in favor of SpaceX and reverse the decision. It also opened a new process that has come to be known as COTS, or Commercial Orbital Transportation Services. SpaceX got one of these contracts in 2006, and it fast-tracked its growth by providing the much-needed company when the company was experimenting with Falcon 1. COTS also led to last year's contract to deliver astronauts and supplies to the ISS. So these contracts have helped SpaceX a lot in terms of money. Now, Bezos is a shrewd businessman, and his eyes aren't closed. Yes, the guy has money, but there's a limit to what any man can do solo. It seems Blue Origin sees Project Artemis as an opportunity for rapid growth and a way to land future federal contracts. But the issue here is Bezos is two decades too late. He ignored this opportunity earlier on exactly the way Nokia missed the advent of smartphones. Today, several companies offer competition for aerospace services. What to expect? There is a reason NASA chose SpaceX for its lunar lander mission. The company delivers. It has done over 100 space missions, while Blue Origin's tally is still in the double digits. Plus, while Bezos made his first crewed suborbital this year, Musk beat him to the punch when he sent two astronauts to the ISS last year. Also, this August, SpaceX has shown us its fully stacked Starship system. This 400-foot behemoth includes its Starship and the reusable Super Heavy, and it is the system that the NASA astronauts will use to land on the moon this decade. So far, SpaceX has also done five experiments with Starship prototypes to altitudes above 30,000 feet. These experimental 160-foot starships were fitted with three-engine Raptors compared to the six engines we've seen in the latest Starship. However, four of the starships exploded on landing, though the last one nailed its vertical landing at Starbase. While SpaceX works on its Starship, NASA is also working on its heavy-duty rocket called Space Launch System at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This 322-foot rocket is fitted with four hydrogen engines and two solid rocket boosters meant to give 8 million pounds of thrust and carry up to 95 metric tons to low Earth orbit. The plan is to launch separately with SpaceX for the moon landing. NASA's Orion spacecraft will then rendezvous with SpaceX's Starship, which will take off without a crew. They will then dock on the Starship lander, which will land them on the moon for the first time since 1972. Blue Origin's Blue Moon, on the other hand, is still under development. This is their version of SpaceX's Starship, and Bezos hoped it would be the vessel to take cargo and humans to the moon. When finished, it can haul an impressive 10,000 pounds to space. The billionaire space race is one of a kind. Every company is working to produce its own version of reusable rockets and rocket launchers. It is quite a clever move that cuts the cost of taking humans to space. So now, instead of building a new rocket from scratch every time you take a person to space, they will operate like airliners where the only cost is fuel and maintenance. I would like to see your comments on this massive clash of the titans. Do you think NASA favors SpaceX? 
Does the Starship mission seem hurried and dangerous to you, or is Bezos just the boy who cried wolf? If you love this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also subscribe and turn on notifications for more updates. As usual, thanks for watching and see you in our next video.